What's up everyone, back again with another video. Okay, since it's Tuesday, the mail is lighter. It's easier for me to do a video. I've been trying to do one when the mail was heavy and uh, stuff back there, but you can see, I, don't, I mean, I don't got much. If I tell you that's not much, yeah, that's not much. I mean, for this route, for this route I'm doing, which is the biggest city route in the office, it's typically a lot more post than that, you know, but by it being Tuesday, it's like packages are lighter, mail is lighter. Uh, so yeah, let's get it. All right, so I just dropped off at the school and then there's a house right next to the school uh, You know put that in the mailbox uh, And now I'm at this little senior citizens uh, Resident place, so maybe I will maybe I'll show you but once I here and uh, Yeah, get this done and get get on to the walking and then once I'm done with the walking there is more well it goes few relays of walking uh, six relays and then a little bit of mounted, so like five houses. Back to walking, finish up the walking. That part, the second part is, you know, with the longer relays. And then uh, after that, more mounted at the end. It's, yeah, this route is a little bit. Nobody want to do this route. <laughs> so, of course, the CCA has got to do it. So I'm about to start to walk it and trust me when I tell you this is extremely light you know you'll know it's heavy when you got to break the mail up and throw it in your bag um yeah this is definitely light so Tuesdays are our reliever days I'd say and that's pretty consistent it's real nice out today yesterday was pretty crappy in the, in the beginning storm really bad super soaked had to walk around with wet feet all day. <laughs> Not fun. So, if there's one thing I can tell you I hate about the job, it's actually a couple of things, but if there's one thing I can tell you I hate about the job, would be doing the ads or, you know, th the third bundles and stuff like that, you know? So, like, for example, when we get those valve packs, lately they, they come in um, cased into the mail. But by that happening, that shows the true potential of how the mail is. And, you know, so with this route, it'd be a whole bunch of trays. Um, but I don't know, I just, when it comes to those ads, I just feel like, you know, in terms of like the pay that you start at, the compensation, it definitely, like we, we definitely need to get compensated more because I just, you know, packages, packages, mail and ads and all this and that stuff that we do. I just, you know, like you can make good money here, but you have to do a lot of overtime. And it's just like, you know, you don't really want to be slaving all the time and you get your check and it's like, oh, uh, you know, all the work that you did do, I just said, I definitely do feel like the conversation need to be uh, better. Conversation definitely need to be better. And I just feel like the benefits need to start a lot sooner. The good benefits need to start a lot sooner. I, you know, I, I, get, I get the ones that's been here for a while, for a long time. You know, it, it might have been different for them back in the day. But, you know, just compared to other jobs that I've been to. And yes, this is a government job. But compared to other jobs that I've been to, it's just like you get you get that stuff right away. And, um, you know, so besides health insurance, so like I said, it's a few things that I, I just don't understand or I just, you know, hate about this job. Uh, but definitely the ads. I will say, if you're looking for a job that's going to keep you in shape, it'd be a city carrier or CCA. You got to start because it's CCA first. Because, uh, yeah, with all the walking that I do, I'm definitely getting a workout in. Now, personally, I still go hit the gym when I get off work at times. A lot of times I slack with it though, because you just be tired at the work, you know, which is an excuse. I really could hit the gym every day, but if you were looking to get paid and a workout at the same time, city carrier. The overtime is a great benefit as well. You know, if, if there was no overtime, it just, I wouldn't be doing this because it wouldn't work out with my finances. Um, so the overtime is a great benefit. The only thing, me personally, I personally rather do 60 hours in five days or or, you know, 55 hours in five days or something like that, you know, and, and get the two days off. That's that's definitely the hard part, I think, for anybody want to take this job unless you really just love to work, love to work every day. That'd be the hardest part going six, seven plus days 
just to get one day off. That's what I tell everybody. That's really the only reason why I love FedEx Express. I just, I wouldn't get enough hours when doing overtime because you can make, you know, 20 plus dollars an hour, but if you ain't getting the overtime, you know, making that time and half double pay, you know, the checks gonna still be weak afterwards after everything coming out. Uh, you know, but, you know, FedEx still got that place in my heart. You know, I definitely, I don't know. I, I can see myself going back. If I don't get rich by then, <laughs> I'll say though I do like the fact that I'm, you know, a government employee. I feel like that's just having that title. That's a nice title, but you know, it's all about making that money. Which you you can make great money here. But like I said, ton of overtime, ton of working. essential thing you need when it's still being hot out even when it's you know even when it's cold out too but definitely when it's hot out bring your cooler get you some ice and uh make sure you got a ton of water because i remember when it was first 95 degrees this year and uh i wasn't prepared like i think i had a couple bottles of water with me i was sweating like crazy it was long re it was the second longest route and the relay i was doing i was just it was it was really rough um so, and I know for me, like if I get a headache or something like that, then I know I need to up the water. So definitely stay hydrated out here because you need it with all, with all this walking and this heat. All right, so I'm on the second half of the walking. Uh, so I probably got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight relays left. And these are the long streets, you know, just one big long street. Like this one is broken up. So it's about probably 44 houses. And then, you know, just about, just about the same on this other half and the same with the next street and the other streets are kind of weird so after that i started to mount it then yeah i'm done but like i said the mail ain't bad today so should be out here at a decent time on this road all right so i got one more relay left and then i'm starting to mount it and i'm done so hopefully i can be done by 5 30. should be about that time we're gonna see like i said today with the mail light so i just get you a rough yeah, a rough estimate of how it is on light days. So by, you know, tip because it's an overtime route, so it would have been about 6.30 on average. Okay, let's start dismounting now. It's 4.30. Dismounted done. Get my packages sorted because I just put my packages. Uh, when I know the route, I'll just go ahead and throw them up in there. And then once I get to each street, I'll uh, order them like that. Uh, but yeah, take a look at what I've collected, really this last hour. Got some drinks, so when you guys do that, it is really appreciated. I really appreciate the nice people out there that ask you, you know, if you want to, if you want to water, because um, you know sometimes you might run out of water and you'd be out here thirsty. So really appreciate you all for that. So let's keep it moving. for the day it is 5 50 i'm at the station now i gotta take this outgoing mail in i got uh, not a super lot um a lot of a lot of missorted mail though i got today kind of ridiculous but yeah so let me know what y'all think in the comments below like comment subscribe and i'll uh, we'll catch you on the next one peace